What it do you do? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I have something for you guys, all you end game grinders. Now, before I get into all of that, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys don't have notifications turned on, make sure you guys click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my future The Division uploads. And with all that being said, guys, let's hop right into it. Now, I want to just give you guys a quick time span. I got to end game on tuesday tuesday afternoon i got to end game uh and then i got I, on wednesday night i hit 440 plus before i went to bed and today thursday i hit 450 plus so that's uh if you guys want to, you guys could probably crunch that into about 48 hours and um you know it was very very simple very easy and i have a lot of tips for you guys when it comes to getting to your levels faster and the way you guys should be doing this hopefully you guys will be able to get there as fast if not faster than i did but we're gonna run everything down but right now i want to show you guys there we are 451 gear score now the real end game has started for me now i have to create my build and what i actually want out of my build and i have to get the items that i want to figure out what i want to do when it comes to my build but without that's that's neither here nor there we're talking about right now so what do you guys have to do to make sure that you guys can actually get through end game pretty fast now one quick thing i'm going to go ahead and drop some knowledge on you guys if you guys have friends that are higher level you guys can actually go to any activity and when they get their uh, 450 plus loot that they don't need or they don't want you guys can actually get that from them they can drop it but they can only drop it for you for i think about it's it's the timer is about 15 minutes i think i'm actually not sure it might be it's anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour so if you guys have higher level friends even on your friends list that you don't talk too much but you know that they play the game see if they won't let you join in on a session with them and see if they can't let you get some of that loot now unfortunately i am a lonely boy so i had a lot i, I didn't have a lot of friends to play with but that's neither here nor there so first things first guys when you guys first get inside of the end game portion of the game this is when you beat all of the missions you guys will be set with a red screen now you guys can see that i don't have any of that red on my screen right now well i actually have a lot of red but what i mean is the whole map was covered in red because the black tusk took over now this is an organization that came into the, the into the map took over all the strongholds took over all of the uh the the supply caches and all the, the control points and all of that stuff so you have to fight to get it back now the first set of things i think you have to do is 275 you're going to work your way up through world tiers so what i recommend for you guys is wait for it control points control points are probably one of the most beneficial things for you guys to do i spent only an hour inside of inside of the dark zone although I do believe, and I'm going to say this at the beginning of the video so you guys can get to the point. If you guys have friends to run through the dark zone with you, definitely do that. It's a very, very fun time for one. Second, you're all pretty much needed because it's it's just a lot of the enemies are tanky. And third, there is tons and tons of that juicy, spicy loot that you all want. So that is probably my main tip the dark zone is where it's at i noticed a major increase in some of the items that i was able to get and it just didn't seem like they were dropping in those types of ways from the other activities not saying that the other activities are bad they are all equal ways to get yourself to 450 but we're talking about getting yourself to 450 fastest now although that wasn't my route of getting to 450 i definitely think that that's probably the best way that you guys can do it spending a couple hours in the dark zone getting your dark zone levels up getting your loot and stuff like that you guys can probably go down the dark zone east because i have noticed that there's not been a lot of people in it aside from me and my friends i haven't seen a lot of people we actually we actually had one guy come up to us and tried to fight us earlier but that was one guy and i don't really i don't really know what he was on about but guys control points back to that control points are a very great place to you know get your kills in and make sure that you guys are getting xp for kills but you also not only get that you get blueprints and you have the option of the supply room once you guys completely take over the supply room i mean the whole control point you guys are able to get inside the supply room and usually it will have a lot of good loot for you guys you guys can also do the hidden rooms which i have done over on uh, or i already made a video on i'll leave it in the description below if you guys haven't checked that out you guys can do the hidden rooms and that also drops you good loot but the main thing that i did and i'll show you guys on the map here the main thing that i did was like in each area you have to complete two areas and then you can complete the stronghold so 
the idea is you complete one, you complete two, you complete the stronghold. So what I would do is I would go in there, I'd say about 10 levels down. And so not only was I getting loot from inside of these missions that are a little bit more difficult than they were normally. So not only was I getting a little bit more loot to my current level that I needed to be at. So to give example, if it was 275, I would come in at 260. So not only was I 275 by the end of the mission, but by the end of the mission, I was also, and this is also RNG based. It's not guaranteed that you'll, they'll get enough drops to get to the next area. I don't think I did it every single time, but a majority of the time it did happen for me. So what I did was, is I would go to the end of the match. By the end of the, the time of the mission and by the end of the stronghold and things like that, I was already well into my next area of experience. So I didn't have to worry about really spending too much time but every time the world tier reset I would go and do these control points it was a great way to get new loot and things like that especially in the areas that were highly populated and things like that were just very very fun to do I also did a couple of things uh, when it comes to you know these other missions like propagandas and things like that but they don't really give you experience but this isn't about experience this is about gear Everything that you do in this game pretty much gives you gear. It's a very very fun grind But like I said guys, this is the way that I did it So make sure that like I said you're doing both of your missions You're doing your stronghold and you're making sure that you clear you're clearing out those control points And the best thing about it is guys when it comes to the control points after your world tier resets So say you move from world tier 1 to world tier 3 or world tier 2. I don't know why I skipped 2 I don't know fuck 2 anyways once you guys get to that next world tier, you guys are able to redo those supply, those control points. Not only get them back, get more XP, get more things like that so you guys can get your, uh, your caches, which I'll show you guys what I'm talking about while I'm doing this. But you guys are also able to unlock those supply rooms again, and I think that that's one of the best ways. Now, I still have conflict caches from level 5, so don't judge me on that. But conflict ca uh, caches come from doing your uh, doing uh, or getting levels after you have hit in-game. So, all of these things should help you guys get to the 450 mark as fast as possible. Everybody wants to be raid ready. If you guys are already at 450 or already inside of the end game, you guys are watching this video. I would love to know what video you or what gear score you guys were at when watching this video. And I would love to know what your favorite specialization is. So those are just some curious. I'm curious about those things based on the fact of I'm just curious about the Division 2 community in general. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.